So I'm just going to kind of do a audio summary of a book that I finished reading this morning. Um, the overall um, novel is called Midnight, and it's divided into four separate romantic stories, each by a different author. Um, so the first um, story in um, the book Midnight, um, it's it's called um, Dark Fest, and this is set several hundred years ago um, back in Scotland, and it's basically um, one of the um, blonde women, and she's 22, she lives in the village, um, so that's, that's a female in the story, and then the guy in the story is obviously like a mythical creature, and um he's 500 years old and um he you know he's always been in love with her and everything and every night she comes out and sings in front of the city for a um sings in front of the city for an hour every night um and he really wants to get married to her but nobody even wants to have a conversation with him because they're so afraid of him so he um, disguises himself as a werewolf and um, every night um, he kind of hangs out with her. Um, and then in the middle of the story, um, he, um, or not, um, you know, he has to do something because she gets engaged to a friend of hers named Ron. And so, um, he comes down, he comes into the city, and her, she lives with her parents, and her mom's, like, really sick. So, he makes a deal, he says, okay, um, you can be married to me for one year, and if you don't like it after a year, then you can leave. Um, and if you do this, I will make your mom so she's healthy again. Um, and she agrees, and then he makes, um her mom, um, you know, a lot better, and then basically you're going to have to read the book because you have to figure out um, whether, because it's almost kind of like an arranged marriage, she doesn't even like him, and so you're going to have to um, look into the book and see whether it works out romantically between the two of them. The second story in the book is called Phantom Lover, and it's set in, you know, um, more um, present day situations, um, and there's a woman in there, and then, um, you know, she's just like a regular um, woman, and basically, um, chapter one of the second story starts out, and she, you know, she works for, like, you know, a, the office job or something like that. And uh, she and her co-workers or her girlfriends or whatever, um, she's not really in a, um, a very good mood. She kind of has a bad attitude about relationships because earlier that year her boyfriend had dumped her. So, I mean, she doesn't really do this, but her girlfriend suggests to her, hey, why don't you just go out and just have one night stands? And they're, like, all just laughing about it in the first chapter and just making a big joke of men. Um, and then basically, um, I don't want to get into it, you're going to have to read the book to, um, see what happens, but, you know, some, she gets herself into a really bad situation. Um, and then Vaden comes and rescues her. Now, Vaden is the guy in the story, and he's probably about 300 years old, and he's, you know, he's not human, he's some sort of a, uh, mortal, or Im immortal, you know, sort of magical creature um and then after he rescues her from the situation that happened um they go and have sex and it was just absolutely spectacular and it was like almost some supernatural like it was just like this hours and hours and hours like a five hour you know sex session and it wasn't just a physical thing but it was like really the two of them their bodies and their minds just really melding together as soulmates um, and then after, um, they have sex, he goes back to, you know, the netherworld, and he tell he tells one of his male immortal buddy buddies about it, and his friend really doesn't like it, um, and so then Vaden gets punished, um, and then, um, 
And then basically, um, in the story, Vaden and her are dating for about three months, and um, then one day um, she gets called in to work on the weekend, and it ends up being some um, immortal creatures, and they have disguised themselves as her co-workers. And then she ends up finding out that her boyfriend, Vaden, like the whole three months that they've been dating, he's just being um, whipped and abused and all that sort of stuff um, because he, you know, had sex with her and she's a person and he's really not supposed to do that. Um, and then they say that the there it's actually helping him um, because there is one way that he can make it out of hell is by proving that a human really loves him. And she's like, well, yeah, you know, I'm in love with him and I want to get married and have a family with him. And then, um, at the end of the, um, book, she comes home one day from work, and he's asleep in her bed, and he has, like, a, a love note written, and he's, like, you know, the, the note basically says, you know, if you really love me, um, you will give me a kiss, a love kiss, and you'll, you'll say that you'll marry me, because only your true love can really, uh, save me, keep me from being, you know, beaten every day. Um, so it kind of has an interesting ending. So the third book in Midnight is called Under Her Spell, and um, it was it takes place in uh, present day, and it's about um, a lady probably about my age, and her name is Melissa, and she has gotten a new job a couple months before, and it's you know it's like a career and everything, and she's like working for some company or something like that. Um, you know, doing office work and everything, and she has, like, a nice little car, a little UV bug or whatever, and then she's renting a house on the beach, and if the renting goes really well, then when she's in her 30s, she can actually buy, um, the house, and in the book, she's, like, a pagan Wiccan, you know, a spiritual, that's her religion, um, and in the beginning of the story, she is having problems because she, um, you know, at work because her co-workers don't believe in, um, her religion and they think that, you know, being, um, pagan is, um, you know, something evil. And then, um, she has, um, she's especially having this problem with this co-worker named Alex, um, because he's writing, like, all these, um, very poor, uh, reviews and you know saying that you know black magic is evil and pagans are you know bad and all that sort of stuff um and then in most of the book um she is trying to defend herself 